Michelle and I'm the recycling manager at Wixwama. Today I want to show you some basic tips of how you can compost at home. Compost at its basic level is decomposed organic matter. The bacteria and fungi help break down the dead materials into nutrients for healthy new plant growth. Compost also helps the soil retain moisture and reduces the need for chemical fertilizers. Gardeners often call compost black gold because it's so rich in nutrients. Compost requires three basic ingredients. Your browns, which are your carbon-rich materials like dead leaves, sticks, and twigs. Your greens, which are your nitrogen-rich materials, things like plant cuttings, fruit and vegetable scraps, even coffee grounds. And water. You need the right mix of all three to create successful compost. To get started, you'll need a three foot by three foot area in your backyard uh, for a bin or a pile. There's lots of videos online showing you how to build your own bin, or you can also buy a bin like this one. It's a good idea to have a lid so it keeps out any pests. Next, you'll begin layering your browns and greens. You'll start with a six inch layer of brown material, followed by a two inch layer of green material, followed by a two inch layer of soil. That soil will help get the decomposition process kickstarted. And you'll keep doing that until you reach the top of the bin. The reason you wanna do these layers is because you want the right carbon to nitrogen ratio. In chemical terms, this is about 30 to one. What that will look like in your bin is about two thirds browns to about one third greens. However, feel free to adjust that ratio based on your system. If you have too much carbon, the decomposition will start to slow down. If you have too much nitrogen, you'll end up with a very stinky pile. Next, you'll want to turn your compost. Incorporating oxygen is vital to the entire process. You can use a pitchfork or a shovel to aerate your pile every few weeks. If you have a bin like this one, it may be able to have the lid secured and turn completely. And finally, you'll have finished compost. It can take anywhere from six months to two years to produce usable compost, so don't get discouraged. Backyard composting is not an exact science, but with a little patience, it can really pay off. I hope you find these tips helpful on getting your own compost started at home.